All right, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna chat about the tourniquet, uh, how to basically apply it. Uh, when we think about putting a tourniquet on, that is for life-saving uh, purposes. So not really minor bleeding. We usually put a tourniquet on if there's what's called arterial bleeding. That's light, bright red blood that spurts out of a wound. In this case, we're gonna use our arm component, leg component, kind of a demo piece here, instead of applying it on, on our own leg, but you can certainly do that. Um, the whole purpose of a tourniquet is to stop bleeding. So if you are um, damaged in the leg or the arm, that's an appropriate use for tourniquet, specifically from the wrist up to the shoulder or from your groin area down to your feet. Uh, you always wanna apply a tourniquet as high and tight as you can. So if you are bleeding from the arm here, you wanna put it above the elbow to restrict and stop the blood flow. Same thing with the leg, uh, if you're bleeding up to the upper leg, you want to put it sort of up and high and tight on the leg itself to stop the bleeding to the entire leg. Uh, and that's okay because we're near to medical hospital grade care, so we're not too worried about using tourniquets uh, as it is, if you're concerned about that. The way that they uh, come staged, they're on top of your go bucket and you might have to take them out and uh, undo depending on how the situation is. In this case, we're going to simulate a leg. Um, the reason we have them like this as a sling already is so that you can just thread them up the leg of the person. Um, we are assuming that you're treating someone else, and so in the case of a tourniquet need, they are probably already on the ground. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to get the tourniquet all the way up. Maybe we'll bring the camera in a little bit. Let's say the wound is here, right? You want to be a couple of inches above the wound, and so in this case, we're simulating sort of the leg this way. Uh, Step one is you want to tighten the Velcro as much as you can. Um, and that's really important. So we don't want a loose initial uh, application of the tourniquet, but really try to tighten it down as much as you can and then wrap it around the leg or the arm. So in this case, I can get maybe one, two fingers in here. It's starting to get really tight, which is good. Um, and then after that, you want to start turning the windlass. Uh, it doesn't matter which way, it'll still tighten and restrict. And you can see with each turn, still here. It's tighter and tighter and tighter. And when you have it as tight as you need to, you lock it in up at the top and then you close the gate. Depending on how much room you have left, uh, some folks say to kind of thread this through. Depends on if you're on a large leg or a small arm. Um, once you apply a tourniquet, you never remove it. Uh, if the first tourniquet doesn't stop the blood flow, you should apply a second tourniquet and then the only people to remove a tourniquet should be medical professionals. If you have any questions about using the tourniquet, let us know, we'll come out, show you, help you out. But this should be sort of a, a refresher video for how to apply the tourniquet. Uh, quick note, this is gonna hurt a lot. So the amount of twists and turns that it takes to stop the blood flow, this tourniquet itself will generate a lot of pain for the patient. So that's something to keep in mind. So don't stop even though they tell you to stop because you need to save their life by stopping their blood flow. Thanks.